This is Mr. Posey from Lake Middle School again, and today we are going to be looking at Newton's first law, Newton's second law, and Newton's third law. And we're going to be doing a, building a hovercraft from NASA's website that ex demonstrates all three of these laws. So let's review the laws first. Newton's first law states that objects remain still unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. It also states that an object in motion would travel in a straight line at a constant speed unless an opposing force slows or stops it. Newton's second law is basically an equation. It states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Newton's third law states that this is the action-reaction law. When a force is created, that is your action, and opposite an equal force, your reaction is created. So, now, all you need to do to build your hovercraft from NASA is have an old CD that's scratched up, won't play, a balloon to make it easier to blow the balloon up, and then an, uh, inflator for the balloon and your glue gun and a water spout from one of your drink bottles. Now, for me, I suggest finding the drink bottles that's got the pull-up spout that's already got the lip around it. It's got a bead on it for the tip of the balloon can fit over it and hook. So that way you don't have to glue a bead around the top of the spout like you would on this one. It doesn't work too well. If you like me, you're gonna take the, find the easiest way possible to do this, that way it'll make it easier on you and it's a lot more effective. So, I actually did it both ways and I'm gonna demonstrate how both of them work for you. The one that's not so well we're going to demonstrate it first. So I'm taking the balloon, putting over the tip of the inflator and start pumping it to inflate the balloon. And that's going to give us our force, our unbalanced force to make the balloon move, the hovercraft move when I place the balloon over it. I take it, place it over the tip of it like so be sure to hold your fingers to not allow the air to escape and then i'm going to set it down on a smooth flat surface i let it go and you can see i have to give it a push to make it move there's the unbalanced force acting on the hovercraft to make it move now the object in motion will travel in a straight line at a constant speed unless in opposing force slows or stops it. In this case, it was the friction on the table that, allowed, that slowed it down, and it didn't have as much force as the air released from the balloon. So it didn't take a lot of force to move the hovercraft since it didn't have a lot of mass, but when it did start moving, it did accelerate pretty well considering how what it's made out of now for newton's third law this is the action reaction law the force when a force is created as your action and the opposite and equal force your reaction is created so our force that was created was the lift created by the air escaping from the balloon and it lifted the cd up and the opposite equal force, the reaction was, it started to move. Now, so that was the one that didn't work too well for me. Next is the one that I do believe works a lot better. This is the one that is made with the tip that already had the bead around it. So I'm blowing up my balloon. 
I'm going to put it on to and around the bead on this hovercraft. And I'm going to let it give it a little nudge and you can see it started moving and it actually moved enough to where it went off the table. So we covered our cover Newton's first law where the object remains still unless acted upon by the unbalanced force. It covered an object in motion would travel in a straight line at a constant speed unless an opposing force slows or stops it, which the friction and the lack of unbalanced force with the air escaping when it ran out, it did stop. It covered Newton's second law. Force is equal to mass times acceleration and we covered Newton's third law with this uh, hovercraft, where when a force is created, our action and e opposite and equal force, our reaction is created.